Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Now, often I hear people using the terms artificial intelligence and machine learning interchangeably. While the difference between both may be little, machine learning is a subset of AI. Today, we're gonna to look at some of the core differences to understand what makes them unique. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We are more than happy to answer your questions. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. So what are they? To start off, artificial intelligence is a broad term that includes several algorithms and tools which enable machines to imitate human intelligence and behavior. There are different categories of AI, which include machine learning, natural language processing, computer vision, deep learning, etc., etc. Machine learning has played a huge role when it comes to learning autonomously and bettering its function by using statistical analysis. Machine learning permits predictive modeling and analytics. It uses several algorithms to discern patterns, generate requisite outputs, and analyze data. Now let's look at understanding their role. Just like many programs, artificial intelligence has an array of components. Machine learning is a core component in several artificial intelligence applications. AI is not a single thing, and it doesn't work in isolation. AI with the assistance of machine learning improves image recognition algorithms, differentiates between a cow and a bike, for example, and understands multiple accents in speech recognition, etc., etc. There are many businesses that are exploring applications to improve the quality of their products and services in order to grow their businesses. However, it's a misconception that you need a data scientist to begin exploring artificial intelligence or machine learning. Companies can find various off-the-shelf solutions to get accustomed to the capabilities of machine learning or other forms of artificial intelligence. It's recommended that initially any business should dedicate time to understand AI through trial and error and by different proofs of concept. So how do you go about it? The important thing to understand here is that no change takes place overnight and digital transformation is no exception. Instead of a technology first approach, it is wise for organizations to determine what, how, and with whom aspects of transformation first. You need to have a clear insight into your organization to know which departments need to enhance services, customer engagement, or delivery model with machine learning or artificial intelligence. You should have answers to questions like, what you want artificial intelligence to do for you? What answers do you require? What business problems would you like to solve? Involving all of the members of different departments tends to avail more successful results as everyone knows what problems the AI is supposed to address. Now let's look at the data requirements. Machine learning requires a lot of good data. This is one of the major aspects that the organization needs to deal with. Not only will you need a lot of data, but you also have to figure out what data is important. You'll need to explore it, validate it, to make sure it is a good sample for artificial intelligence to analyze and learn from. Now let's jump into the final setup. The job is not quite done yet. In order to be successful with machine learning or artificial intelligence, you would require many iterations. Don't expect miracles on your first attempt. You'll probably have to make a few more attempts before you see any results. It's also essential that instead of assuming, you check if the AI is performing as intended. There are chances of bias, so it's better to address the problems by finer data sets or bigger sample sizes. It's up to the industry leaders to understand how effectively machine learning and artificial intelligence solutions scale in different organizations, and also to think of the technology stack that they would require. So there you have it. We've discussed the key differences between artificial intelligence and machine learning. We've discussed their roles, who can use them, going about implementing them, the data requirements, and the final setup. As always, if you have any questions, once again, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you for watching.